Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me today here in Jajage, Montreal. And um, today we're going to do a meditation on slowness. So maybe you felt that life is speeding up lately, perhaps, as we reopen. So just I have a bunch of questions to think about in terms of slowness. When what can you recall was the last time you really slowed down? Maybe you were on vacation. Maybe you had COVID or an injury. Just thinking about that time in your life when you actually slowed down. And also, I thought you could recall the speed at which you've done things today or lately, you know, um, cleaning the house or doing errands, even exercising, driving, how your morning routine is. Are you rushing through it or are you in your routine with slowness? And as we know, the lockdown of COVID allowed us slower lives. And I'm wondering if time for you seems seems slower than than now. And do you too feel a sense of speeding up that's occurring in the world? Maybe you're becoming more busy and you feel like you're not keeping up with all the things you have to do. And also I thought it was interesting to think about what around us in our lives is slow. Maybe it's people or maybe it's plants or trees or animals. And if you want, you can write what is slow around you in the chat if you want. I see that Ryan says hi and Jill has a snail and a turtle. And hello, Viviana, nice to see you all. So yeah, I was just thinking about what things are happening slowly around us. Like for me, I'm like, sometimes I notice the plant has grown and I didn't notice because it grew so slowly. And you know, you see a baby and then all of a sudden it's not a baby anymore, but it was so slow. And as we grow older, we also slow down. And the nature is actually slow, the, na the natural breathing in our lungs is pretty slow when we're at rest. But the speed of our society is seductive. And um, that's, but capitalism has only been around, I actually Googled it, has only been around for 200 years. So this productivity, this Speed has been around since 1848. So it's a new concept, this whole speedy society, which has now gone into the internet and we slow down by scrolling really fast. So something to think about. Anyways, I have uh, uh, another talk on patience, practicing patience. I, I think that slowness and patience are really related. You know, we're always going so fast. Like if we think about going around uh, in our cars, you know, we got Communato lately and we're going a lot faster than before because we were on our bikes. And on the bikes, you have more time to see the gardens, the flowers, people. But then walking, you have even more time. So walking is a beautiful way of being slow, you know, if you make the time. Or being on the bike, you know, different ways of moving through the world slow, slower, or faster. And slowness can focus the brain and gather the mind, which is great. So let's find some joy together today in having a slow meditation. And as Jill had in the chat has the snail and the turtle, we can draw on that energy. Or also lately I, I uh, watched a YouTube on sloth and they don't expend a lot of energy. So sloths are also a good energy to bring into the meditation today. So maybe you wanna lay down 
find a comfortable position. And if you need to adjust your posture, your clothing, feel free. See if you can make yourself just a little bit more comfortable. And feeling the body slowing down, just settling here together. Feeling into the sensations of slowing down. And if you like, you can take some deep, slow breaths or sighs. Notice if there's anywhere in the body that's holding or bracing and invite those areas to let go. Creating spaciousness and relaxation for this slowness today. Noticing the changing sensations in the body as the body calms and flows. And being with what is today accepting how you are, are arriving. Maybe the mind is busy like a puppy. You can just rest the mind and the eyes if you like. Coming back to the anchor of the breath or sound. Letting the mind rest and relax. And as the body calms, I'll read a poem about slowness by Doko. Just slow down. Slow down your speech. Slow down your breathing. Slow down your walking. Slow down your eating. And let this slower, steadier pace 
perfume your mind. Just slow down. And just rest in the gentle rising and falling of breath or sound for a few moments. If your mind is drifted, slowly guiding your awareness back into the body. What are the sensations there? Becoming aware if there's any lingering tension or tightness. And inviting those areas again to soften. You can feel them slowly melting. Breathing in that slow calm to the body. Notice any future tripping, restlessness, impatience, boredom. Notice what's there. All is welcome. And taking some deep breaths, giving yourself permission to slow down even more deeply. Being grateful and enjoying the experience of breathing, being alive.
or the joy of hearing the sounds around you. Grateful for our hearing. Let the breath steady you and calm you. And taking some deep breaths, let it invigorate you and enliven you. Releasing on the out breath. And slowing down your breath, if that's helpful. Feeling into the rhythm of the breath. the rhythm of the seasons, our lives, the moon, the natural rhythm of the universe. I'm letting go of any resistance or struggle. I'm just bring the attention to the breath gently or to the sound around you. Trusting in the stillness, the silence, the space together. Trusting in the natural slowness of our bodies and breath. Being in this body, breathing into all itself, moving at the speed of the body's breath. And how does it feel to slow down in the body today? Just noticing that. How does this sacred pause feel? I'm finding a little movement in your toes and fingers. And like the snail or the sloth, the turtle, slowly stretching how it feels good. 
and you can luxuriate in the stretch of your choice and take as much time stretching as you need to. Yawning is great. <sighs> maybe I, maybe you caught my yawn. <laughs> There's a sloth emoticon in the chat. I didn't know there was a sloth. Great. So I'll end with a quote um, from Thich Nhat Hanh about tea drinking, because, you know, sometimes we drink tea even in the summer. Drink your tea slowly and reverently as if it is the axis on which the wo world earth revolves. Slowly, evenly, without rushing towards the future. Live the actual moment. So tea drinking could be a good place to practice slowness. So you say whatever you want to in the chat before you leave. And you can practice being slow with cups of tea, walking, like I was saying, and um, just notice how rushing feels in the body and how being slow in the body feels, in the body, heart, and mind. You can try practicing slowness. One way to practice slowness is unplugging. So we can unplug purposely from the computer or the phone. And um, we can also experiment with single tasking. Single tasking. How does that, that sound? Single tasking. I like that. Um, also, nature is great. So nature is a great place to remember slowness. And gardening, smelling the flowers. Of course, I love gardening. Anyways, thanks so, so much for being here, everyone. Sorry we went over a bit. Donna's below. And there's some retreats coming up if you want to look. Uh, for for TNA. So bye everyone. Oh, and I'm not going to be here for two months because I'm driving across Canada in September to see my parents. And uh, in October, in, I'll be back in October, but in August, I'm teaching a bunch of other places. So I will see you in two months, but feel free to look at the old meditations and um, I wish you a beautiful end of summer. Hi, everyone.